we're fed up to the back of our teeth with their campaign in Peterborough that's been going on about immigration and immigration and foreign people. The people aren't fed up though, are they? Because the polls are going their way. The polls are showing that people who are very poorly educated are likely to vote leave. Let me yes, read please, you something. Paul, please do. How dare that cheeky person, and I'm cleaning this up, that you have on at the moment say only the poorly educated are voting leave. I went to uni, says Margaret, but I am definitely voting leave. We were Great Britain before 1973. Now we aren't, says yep. Margaret. Uh, She's so, offended. I'm sorry, Margaret. There are people who've got degrees who are voting leave as well, but the analysis is quite clear that... Um, you mentioned Nigel Farage's language. You need to be careful with yours, don't the, you? Of course I do, yeah. Paul. I'm sorry, Margaret. They... they the, the, the narrative is quite clear and the analysis has been done that those demographics are the people that are voting. As far as Great Britain goes, I don't know what's going to happen. If there is a vote to leave the UK, for the UK to leave Europe, Scotland are not going to vote to leave. Northern Ireland are not going to vote to leave. I wonder whether this is would be the last chapter of the United Kingdom or what you call Great Britain, Margaret. Well, we'll see. Um, and Keith from Peterborough says, I take exception to the fact that poorly educated people will vote out. I'm not poorly educated. I'm voting out. Frank from Upboss says, poorly educated? Thank you very much. I'm not poorly educated and I've already voted out. The so. poorly educated obviously listen to heart in the morning, Paul, not... BBC Cambridgeshire. Well, uh, uh, does it help when you're throwing insults around? Both sides... It's not an uh, insult. And the, the, th the thing is, th th this is what people are getting fed up with in politics, I think, and, and, and particularly during this campaign.